Hi, so this is how to tune your violin using a tuner. It's an informants video. So right now, this is a violin. So this is the E string, A string, D string, and G string. And this is basically me showing you how to tune one of the, one of the strings. Basically, you just you use the, the same method to tune all of them. So basically, I'm, my A string is really out of tune. It sounds like this. That's not what an A string is, sound, is supposed to sound like. And so I have a metronome over here. And the metronome shows that my note is a F sharp. So that's a problem because the F sharp and A are quite uh, quite far apart on a piano and everything. So since it's a big difference in like notes accuracy and note intonation, I'm gonna have to use the big pegs, like the pegs on on top of the violin, not the small micro tuners. I'll use them later. So you have different you have different pegs for each string. So for the for the A string, you use the highest peg. You can track the string to figure out which peg you need to turn. So that's the G string, G string, D string, A string, E string. So I'm going to turn the A string peg. And since it's the lower, since the F sharp is lower than the A, and I want to make the F sharp higher till it hits the A, what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to turn this, I'm going to want to turn the, this, the A peg upwards. I'm gonna want to turn it. I want it to turn it this way, or like if you're like, I want to turn it this way. I want to make it tighter and higher, so I do it like that. So first, I'm just gonna drop my bow and try to move this up, and I'm gonna see what note I have now and see if it's accurate enough to use a micro tuner. That's really high. Cause that's uh, that's pretty much a B. So what I'm gonna want to do is I'm gonna want to bring it down. But since it's only a one note difference, an A and a B, I think I can just use a micro tuner. So since so since we've determined that a B is higher than an A, I'm gonna need to use a micro tuner to bring the bring the pitch down. So the way you use a micro tuner is, did you see those? four knobs so there, those are mica tuners, and most of you might have those on your violins. So what you're going to want to do is if you want to make your micro tuner tighter, if you want to like increase the volume, increase the pitch, then you're going to want to turn it like that. Basically you're going to want to turn it clockwise, but if you want to make the volume, make the sound lower, then you're going to want to loosen it up and turn it this way, which is basically and clockwise. So since I want to loosen it, I'm going to turn it anti-clockwise. So it's going to be... So now that I've loosened it a considerable amount, I'm going to take a look at the tuner and see what it says. It's still a B flat, so I'm going to bring it down all the way to an A. So I'm going to keep on loosening it up. When you loosen it up, it should go higher up. The knob should go higher up. But when you tighten it, it should go lower. So that sounds more like an A, so I'm going to see it now so I can do some fine tuning. Okay. It looks a bit flat to me. So how you want to use one of these 1440 micro tuners is you want to make sure you have as little red as possible blinking and more green. So, and you're going to want to make sure it's obviously in the right note, the note you want to tune on. So I have, um, let me just tune it over here, quick tune it. So right now it's blinking red. It's still blinking red and it's on the flat side. So I'm gonna tighten the, tune, tighten the peg a bit. So I'm tightening it and now it's like hitting green as well, but it's still a bit It's closer, but to make it sound exactly right, I'm gonna try to make it completely green and not red at all. Now, if I go too high, like that, that's too high, so I'm gonna have to bring it back down now. Now, 
Now, if you like see this note, you you'll see that it's way, it's like way more of an A than an F sharp. In fact, it stays at A completely the whole entire time, which means that it and it's green, which means that I've tuned it right, and this is an A string, so. That's, you basically want to replicate this method of using the big knobs first if it's really wacky out of tune and then using the small micro tuners. You might want to do that for the, your other strings as well because that would help. So I hope this helped and thank you.